Um, hello, my name is um, Abraham Nanye. Uh, I am your mathematics teacher for today. Um, I would like you to listen to me very careful as we go through this simple topic and give me some few minutes to just explain things for you in simple terms. Uh, I would also like you to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel. Like I said, the name is Nanye Abraham. Now, today we are coming to learn about a topic called sex. It's an elective and core mathematics topic and I see it's very necessary to explain it to uh, other people. Um, sex, what are sex? Sex, um, you will remember that throughout your mathematics life you have learned something. You have learned something about perfect squares. Squares like um, root of what? 16 root of um, root of um, 25 root of 36 you get um, whole numbers like um, whole numbers like 4 5 and then 6 this um, so if you find a square root of a number then you have the answer to be a whole number then we call it what we call it a perfect what square. So these are what all perfect squares. These are all perfect square root of 16, root of 25, root of 36, root of 49, root of 54. Sorry, 64. So these are all perfect square, perfect squares. And so um, there are numbers like root of what 12, root of um, um, let me say. 18 root of um, 20 they are they are they are they are not perfect squares and then if you find their yeah, if you use calculator or if you find the answer to this root, square roots you you find out that their answers are either not terminating or they are not repeating and so we call them what sets so these are all sets and then we have a way of dealing with this thing you have a way of dealing with this or simplifying this sex. So I would like to also add a preamble that I want you to know before we enter into this topic. Now, um, sex can be broken down into simplest form. It can be broken down into simplest form. For example, this, this, this is a sex and it can never be broken down again. There's nothing that can be done. This number is a prime number, especially when prime numbers are in the what a set. I'm not saying in most of the cases when the prime when in most of the cases when a prime number is in a square root, you get to understand that it cannot be broken down again. The number cannot be broken down again because the number has only what two factors. It has only two factors, which is one and itself. So when most of the cases in most of the cases you see that when the the prime number is in the set it cannot be broken down again and also i would like you to know that a set every set mostly has a coefficient of what one if the coefficient is not written down so we assume that this is a what um, um we assume that the set itself is a variable and then there's what a coefficient there's always a coefficient and that brings us to the end of the preamble the preamble we need to know now in this lesson we are coming to learn um some of the identities of sex some of the identities of sex identities identities of sets some of the identities of sex and i would like to run faster here one number one the first identity of set is if you have a set multiplied by the same set is equal to root of a square and then this is equal to a this cancel out this the second identity is that if a constant multiplied by a set 
then it and this is what i was talking about the what the coefficient this becomes a coefficient the constant becomes a coefficient for the set and then the third identity says that the third identity says that if you have a set multiplied by another set then it's the same as the same as this it is equal to this it is equal to this it is equal to this and then our third our third our third identity sorry this is the third our fourth identity our fourth identity says that if you have a set like this if you have a set like this multiply by another set let me see with d this is equal to um this is equal to a c b d also in a set and then we have the fifth identity the fifth identity says that the fifth identity says that the fifth identity is almost like this says that this is the same as a c root of d then we have the c identity the c identity if you have a set dividing by another set is the same as this and then the seventh identity which probably happens to be our last identity says that says that says that if the seventh identity is just a reciprocation of the fifth identity which is is the same as AC root of B the seventh identity so that brings us to the end of um, this lesson and then in our next lesson we shall simplify some of the sets we shall learn how to simplify some of the sets we shall learn how to simplify some of the sets so please stay tuned and then you listen to my videos and you repeat to listen and listen and i believe that you get to understand what i'm always saying so the the the, the next lesson is simplicity simplicity of sets we learn how to put sets into their simple form thank you very much subscribe to my youtube channel